Does anyone remember the formulas of day.net? If not, let's do a recap. I was reading about disturbing films on IMDB, the Internet Movie Database. I've been making a lot of posts on the recent trend of disturbing films such as Martyrs, Inside, and A Suburban Film. The most recent one I would started discussing and asking about films that were more disturbing than the ones I've already mentioned. Barely anyone mentioned actual movies and just brought up disturbing internet videos like the Emmy Pain Olympics or Suicide of R, Bud Dwyer. Nothing I haven't seen before on the internet. Until I received a personal message about the board. Someone sent me links to forummealsofthedaynet a website the messenger called Disturbing. At first, I didn't understand how it was disturbing. The name of the website didn't seem like it implied any disturbed content. I went to the website. All it really consisted of was four option pages. The first one was called About Us. The second one was called Download Content. And the third was called Feed the Monster. And the final just takes you back to the home page. When you click on About Us page, it takes you to a page that features a bizarre paragraph that reads, Four Meals of the Day, dot net. It's meant to expose the troubles and give an answer to them as they continue in an endless series of videos leading to the Four Meals of the Day. We have declared war on the blissfulness and unfortunate irony. The download content page included links and videos with download pictures in QuickTime WMV formats. There was a total of 26 videos on the page, most of which were uploaded in 2006. Most of them had nothing really happened to them. Nothing all that disturbing. The videos usually featured one of two scenarios, a video of people watching cartoons on television, or two people talking about random things as they walk in the wilderness trail. The strangest thing about the Wilderness Trail videos was that there was absolutely no real background noise, with the exception of static and the voice of other people. The quality of the videos is like an amateur porno flick from the early 90s. Whenever someone talks, it's kind of hard to understand what they're saying due to the fizzy audio. For some reason, the comment sections of each video were riddled with hate comments and death threats to the creators of the website. The only video that seemed to have any content that could be considered disturbing was the video called Amy, age 20. The 18th video of the download content page, a 15 minute video of the girl titled Amy in an empty room. The door is open in the background. The first 10 minutes consist of her singing casually, dancing around, handheld karaoke machine. The camera is held by an unseen person, proven by now it moves around. The video was kind of funny in a cute way, until the video cuts to a red screen for a second, and then back to the girl still in the room, but on her knees, crying with her face buried in her hands. The door is now closed, and the camera is now set still on the floor, meaning the cameraman disappeared, leaving the girl the only person in the room. The glasses and the karaoke machine were nowhere in sight. We were watching her cry for five minutes. She occasionally sobbed out lines such as, Please, Dad, why did you take her? Before the last second of the video abruptly cuts off, the door in the background cracks open slightly, right next to the video player. There is a small, fuzzy photograph to the girl in the video. The girl had been in many of the previous videos. Though, according to my recollections, she was absent in the later ones. After watching her cry for five minutes, I had to leave the room for a minute. There is no way in hell you could fake that kind of sorrow and misery displayed in that video. I was about to abandon ship and leave this otherwise harmless website. But Feed the Monster page came up. My curiosity, just like downloaded content page, it offered downloadable videos, but with only four on it this time. According to the sidebar, they all had more comments and more views than all the other videos. All four videos, titled after the three meals of the day, 
breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as the fourth meal, dessert. I decided to watch all four of them. The videos mostly had higher quality than the previous videos. They were all in widescreen and clearer sound, and the image quality was much more disturbing than all the previous videos.